autumn of 1979, six months after the completion of the first Dakar, Terry Sabine was back on African soil. Sensational stories had forced the organisation of a second edition. The record of songs of Christ Dakar are going well. Everything looks fine. I believe we'll be in Timbuktu this evening after a stage of around 500 kilometres. Since then, the Dakar has always started with these unknown and anonymous tours, when the organisers check out and decide on the course to come. As you can expect, in 1979, the reconnaissance is already an adventure in itself. There's no bivouac or support. It's a real adventure. As with every year, drama surrounds every experience, and sometimes testing is more troublesome than competing. Sabine's first Rico was not going to plan. I have to admit that we're happy to be in Timbuktu. Saying it was a piece of cake would be a lie. Timbuktu, the real door to the desert, will remain as one of the key moments of the Dakar in Mali. In 1980, this 10,000 kilometre journey began in France, travelled through Algiers, Mauritania, Niger, Port Volta and Senegal. And some surprising vehicles completed that route, like the Citroen CX and the three Meha cars that were used in the Reco. It rode a part of the legend of the Dakar.